Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on streaming data with Flask to React using server sent events. It's a very easy way to get real-time data live to your um, application. This I'm going to be using some base code from a previous video, but you don't have to use it. I'm going to code it live here. It is not set up yet. So let's dive in. I'm going to start with um, the Flask application because Depending on your front end, you may not want React, you may want whatever, anything else. So I'm going to add a new route, add app.route. I'm going to call it stream. Then we're going to um, uh, add a stream function, def stream. Doesn't take in anything. And then we're going to define another function that yields something. Um, I don't know if you've worked with Python generators before, but there are a bunch of really great YouTube videos um, by some other um, content creators on uh, streams that I've personally used to learn from. So define, um, let's just say get data. And um, we're going to say while true. Um, yield. spell and then whatever we want so I'm going to use date time dot now wait that didn't pop up ah date time import date time and that should work fine cool um, a gotcha here is this has to be yielded in a specific form for service sent event for the service side event to recognize um, that it needs to send it and that it's data and but uh, before that we're just going to say return our response is going to be um, our get data function and our uh, mime type which this is how the browser knows that hey this is a live stream stay stay listening you know don't don't sleep on the job on this one event stream and now the specific format I'll just use an F string for this is data colon bracket the F stream new line new line so this is what you have to do um, and so this is also where you can put your if logic here like if update is if user clicked refresh or if something happened database side or server side, this is how you can use logic to, sh okay, hey, now stream this to the browser. Um, we're going to save this, and let's navigate over to our local host. And this should just deliver like a blank React app right now. Oh, that's from a previous thing. Anyway, we'll, we'll get that working in a second. npm run build. Cool. Um, so now we're just going to take the stream input stream mime ah mime not mime type it's not supposed to be silent and making weird sounds and faces so let's try this again okay and you see this is streaming data constantly to us um, but if we want this to be a little bit more reasonable let's do time dot sleep one now you don't want to do this in production because the sleep stalls the process and we don't really want that. You don't want your entire app to stall for this. So usually you do an if statement here and then when it, some condition is true, like I was saying earlier, yield the data. But just for sanity's sake, um, I'm just gonna do time.sleep equals one and that would now every second it's gonna print that data. So the back end's easy. We've got this working now, so let's go to the front end. Um, I think uh, npm ran build again, so this should now, yep, our React app. Gonna get rid of all this. And now we're gonna use an event stream to connect to this data. Uh, and then what do I want it to say? Let's just say, uh, the last streamed item was this. And then let's get everything in place. So let's import use effect oopsies use effect use 
state from React. Get these brackets right. Cool. And then we're going to use state. And we're going to say const data set data. And then we're going to use an effect, and this is how we're going to make sure that we keep getting that correct um, streamed live information every um, instance. So use effect. I'll actually use it here. Cool. And then I'm going to get rid of this cleanup as well. That. I'll leave that because we actually will use it. Um, so we're going to define our server incent event, const server side event, server sent event, server side event, forgot. Um, and then we say new, new event source, oopsies. And then we're also, we're going to call it stream. Now because we're serving this React application from the React app, or from the Flask app, we don't have to do localhost or anything or any of that weird um, set request headers to allow all things. It just kind of comes out of the pocket. The only thing is you just need to build um, build it every time you run it. Um, but you can do npm start to get the really nice debugger if you would like that. And then we're going to find our function that's going to handle the uh, d uh, data stream. So handle stream. And then um, it's going to take in our data. And it's going to set data. Data. Pretty simple. And now we define um, when to use that function. So server side event on message. Uh, don't do a function. Take in an event. And then do this. Um, just handle stream. And we're going to do e.data. Uh, and then if you remember on our stream over here, got this data attribute that's where we have our uh, what we want but there's a whole bunch of other stuff in this event source message that we get that we can use we're only concerned with the data here um, uh, but maybe we can also console.log just for yeah we'll do that just to show Set the data here. Data dot data. Huh, that could be named easier. I'm just going to put that as e then, just to keep it simpler. Console dot log e, and that way we can see everything that's sent with it on message. And so now we need to do an on close. This is kind of a um, or on error. This is a got you for me. This gave me a lot of headaches in the past. Um, because sometimes your server has an issue or like it loses connection for a second or it stalls because of the database call taking too long and um, then it completely disconnects and it doesn't try to reconnect so uh, just watch out with this here for development you can do this um, but just be careful uh, and you shouldn't have that issue but it can happen and I had to debug that for a while and wish I would have known that earlier and then finally at the end of it we're gonna close the stream when everything went great sweet and then we're gonna run this um, on remount because we want this data constantly and then let's add our data in here so I think the odds that this works on the first try and then we can just say uh, Initializing. Cool. Then run build. Uh, this is a way that I personally get a lot of data to clients who need real time information. Um, we've we can do it with Zillow push events to get real time things from there. We've also used it with um, stock. Um, I say clients like friends that I'm helping. I'm not a professional business person like that anyway. Um, 
Alright, so let's go. Let's refresh this. React stream is initialized. The last React item is the, the last item is this. So every second it is updating this. And then if we want this to look a little prettier, I'm just gonna do dot second. And now you can completely control what you're sending and showing to the router browser. I think I need to refresh because I don't have any logic to handle a reconnect. Um, if it is on disconnect or on error, that was that on error thing. It aired out and it didn't try to reconnect. And because of that, it just stayed still. But now we have this. So that was it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as quickly as possible. Um, if you thought this was helpful, please like this and subscribe. Never thought I'd be saying that. I'm going to try to make more videos because uh, I was looking for this stuff recently and it, it was pretty long. So anyway, thanks for your time.